What's up everybody? Today I just wanted to do a real quick short review on Tenacor's Keratum 3 inside the waistband holster designed to be carried appendix or strong side. If you want a longer, more in-depth review on this holster, please check out my other video. Today we will just be covering the primary considerations. Um, so let's begin. Comfort-wise, this is the most comfortable holster I've ever worn. Uh, as you can see, it's well contoured. All the edges and corners are well radiused, including the body. So nothing will dig into you. Um, doesn't create any kind of hot spots. As far as concealment's concerned, I'm amazed at how well this conceals my Glock 48. Um, part of the reason it conceals so well is its minimalistic design. It also comes standard with the discrete carry concept clips, and I believe these are the lowest profile clips on the market. Um, Tenacore uses a camming bar instead of a traditional concealment wing, and I actually like these camming bars more um, because with the traditional concealment wing, it places the leverage point further away from the holster's body, and I find that it creates kind of a slight, squarish, awkward bulge along my belt line. It, even with gun belts, even with stiff gun belts, it still tends to push them out and create a little bit of extra bulge. Um, it also creates just a little bit more pressure. Um, barely noticeable, but it does create a little more pressure against my body. Tenacore's camming bar, because it's attached to the holster body, I don't find I get that squarish bulge along my belt line. I also find it helps relieve a little bit of pressure. For those unfamiliar with what those do, they simply push on the back of your belt and tuck the grip like this closer into your body for better concealment. Um, weapon retention is rock solid. It's got two adjustable retention screws here so that you can customize it to your own personal preference. Uh, belt retention, rock solid. For those that are unfamiliar with these discrete carry concept clips, um, they have become the industry standard by which all others are judged and for good reason. Uh, they have unparalleled clamping force, extremely tough and durable. Um, you can see these little tabs there. They're designed to hook underneath your belt and really bite down, um, preventing your holster from uh, coming out with your gun when you draw. Um, these are by far my favorite clips. I am not a fan of plastic clips. Some people do complain that these DCC clips can be hard to get your holster off, but to me that's kind of the point. If your holster clips allow you to take it on and off too easily and too quickly, uh, it may not be the most secure, secure setup, something to think about. Um, as far as adjustability, it's hard to beat the Keratum. Um, it's like I said, it's got two fully adjustable retention screws. It comes with three different size camming bars so you, you can uh, you can adjust the concealment level to your desired preference. Uh, these clips, you can run both clips or you can just run one clip. Um, it also has 30 degrees of cant adjustment, almost a full inch of ride height adjustment. And so, I mean, you, you can really um, adjust and fine tune this holster. Um, and build quality, uh, fit and finish was flawless. Uh, I've had this holster over a year. It's still holding up great. Tenacore uses uh, very high quality materials, including their hardware. I love how it comes standard with DCC clips. Uh, you don't find that with a lot of holster manufacturers. Um, so thanks for stopping by. I hope this review was helpful. If it was, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for uh, further reviews. Thanks.